is up Ziggy Sway fam. I'm in a new location today. I'm gonna reveal that to y'all coming up pretty soon. Moved. Um, I'm in my new workspace right now in my new studio. I just want to talk to y'all today about something that was on my mind when I woke up this morning. So let's get right to it. Two things in this world right now. If you are struggling or don't know what you're supposed to be doing in your life right now, you're in the right place. This is the video for you. If you have always been one of those people where people say to you, what do you want to be when you grow up? And your answer was, I don't know, or I'm not sure. Or if you're in that place right now, if you're a teenager, or if you're young, whatever the case, you don't know what to do with your life. Listen up right now. I got something for y'all right now. There's two things in life. You got your passions, you got your passions, and you got vocation. Passion is something that you do because you love it. It's a part of you and it's always going to be a part of you. Something like, like music or basketball or, or something that you love or art, you know. I play guitar. I play guitar for free. But vocation is something that you do, that you enjoy, but you must get paid for it. If you are wondering what to do with your life right now, listen to this. There's passion in this category, and then there's vocation in this category. But passion is something that you love. It's a part of you. This is always going to be a part of your life, a part of your soul, a part of your heart. But vocation is something that you do, that you enjoy, that you must get paid for. Now, can the two of these merge or come together? Absolutely. And have they and do they? Absolutely. Let's take somebody like a famous basketball player like LeBron James. We all know his passion is playing basketball. We all know that basketball is probably the bulk of his money, right? However, the thing with passion is, in most cases, you cannot do passion for a lifetime that you will get paid for for a lifetime. In most cases, you'll get paid for it in the beginning and it'll open up doors for you or you'll get paid for it later on in life. Okay, so LeBron James, he's gonna play basketball and make money with that, but he'll get to a certain age where he's gonna have to retire from basketball. He'll still be young enough to work and do other things, okay? Some people like artists, visual artists, or, or singers or songwriters or musicians or golf players or somebody like that, comedians, actors and actresses. You spend the early part of your life perfecting your passion, perfecting your craft, and then you're not getting paid for it. But when you get that breakthrough, then eventually you get paid for it. And either it'll last for a lifetime or it'll last for a season of your life, okay? So passions is something that you will do for free. You'll do it for free because you love it. These basketball players, these football players, these artists and musicians, they're, they're doing their passions before anybody ever approached them to come play professionally or get paid for a check. They do it, they start it because they love it. That's what a passion is. It's with you, in most cases, for the rest of your life, whether you do it for money or not. Vocation. Vocation is something that you will do that you must get paid for. It's usually somewhere in, in a field where it's, it's a scientific field, right? Or it's a, it's a financial field, right? Something where it has to do, or financial field, is something has to do with the bigger scheme of the world, okay? Let's say you're good at debating, right? You want to be a lawyer, okay? You want to be a lawyer and you might truly enjoy that. And you will go and go to bat and fight for yourself for free. But you're not going to do it for Joey and Bob and Diane and, and Susan for free. You're not going to go and fight in cases for free. You do it for yourself for free, but you're not doing everybody else for free. Okay, you want to be a dentist, okay? You keep people's mouths clean. You might clean your kid's mouth for free, your, your mom, dad, wife, spouse, whatever, for free. But you're not doing Billy across the street for free. You have to get paid for your vocations. It's something you enjoy. When you choose a vocation, it should be something that you benefit from. It's something that you enjoy. You don't mind doing again and again and again. It's something that blesses your own life, but you must get paid for it. It's not like sitting down and play guitar. Nobody paying me for sitting down and playing my guitar. I just play it because I love it, right? These are two things. When you start to understand that we got two things in life and most people have these two things that they have to decide between and or do both to make a successful life. We're made to be passionate. 
We're made to be passionate. Life is better when you have a passion. It's better when you have a passion. Vocation, we all need to make money. Can you merge the two together? Absolutely. Is it harder? In most cases, yes. This will last a lifetime. And this will bring you money. So here's my thoughts and my opinions on that. If you're young or of age or you have time in your life, to, to, to start some things new or to put things in perspective. Let's put this into perspective. And I'm gonna get better at talking about this, I promise y'all. You got a passion, you got a vocation. You got a passion and you got a vocation. When you understand the difference between the two and where you stand with those two things and what you're doing with your life, or even if you don't know what to do with your life, Find out what your passion is. Find out what you're passionate about. If you love animals, if it's a bunny rabbit, a dog, a cat, a snake, or whatever, and you just love animals, you might be passionate about animals. And then you may be able to take that passion and apply it to a vocation. Or you might just have a hobby where you volunteer at the local animal shelter and you decide to do something else with your life. It's up to you, but find first, find what your passion is. And then find out if that passion can become your vocation. If not, should you separate the two and have them both and pursue them both at the same time? And where should you spend your time and your energy? Right now, you got two things to do, people. Find your passion and let that lead you to your vocation. They don't always go hand in hand. Find out who you are, what your goals are in life. You might love to travel. You knowing that about yourself, that might lead you to your vocational choice. But it may not be what your passion is. Your passion might be visual art and you like to draw new places all the time. So you could pair those together and find out how can I travel all the time and make that your vocation. And when you're traveling all the time, you go and you do your passion, which is draw or paint or whatever it is. I hope y'all are seeing the bigger picture here. Life is passion and vocation, y'all. Gotta do something that moves you, that makes your heart beat. Get up in the morning, you gotta do something, get that money coming in. So I hope y'all got something out of this today. If you did, smash the like button. Share this with somebody that you know is struggling to find out what to do with their lives today. Peace out.